welcome back to the Rebel Networker. And today I'm with David Allen. David, welcome back to Dubai. Hi, Phil. Thanks. Great to have you. Okay, David, so one of the things um, I'd like to pick your brain about, because you're an expert in getting stuff done, and I think what happens, I see with a lot of our clients, is they have so much to do. And they, as entrepreneurs, are having to do everything from cleaning the floor to going to the bank to doing the business. So they've got tons of things to do, and obviously they're missing things, and often quite important things. What would be your tips on getting stuff done? Well, the, the real key is being able to get room so you can focus, and focus on the right stuff, and not have something fall to the crack. So the real key there is to stop using your head as your office. You need to build an external system that's keeping track of all the stuff you need to keep track of and be reminded about. Your brain did not evolve to, to keep track of stuff very well. Uh, you're, you're about four things is about all that you can hold just in your mind without losing track of something and losing priorities and being driven by latest and loudest. So, simple idea, get it all out of your head. Little, big, personal, professional, get all that out of your head. And then decide what are the projects that you're committed to and what are the action steps you need to take on each one of those projects. And then have that inventory out in front of you. I mean, most entrepreneurs, startups or whatever, have got somewhere between 30 and 100 projects going on. If you take a project, meaning anything that you're going to take several steps to finish, get tires on your car, hire the marketing VP, you know, launch the new ad campaign, research the new software, you know, whatever that is, get that inventory. That's a very, very critical list to have. And then at least once a week, look at it, in, in, you know, closely. So you, that it gives you a sense of nothing's going to fall through the cracks. Mm. Sure, we've all got more to do than we could do. Mm. Uh, but you need to make sure you're conscious about what all that is. Mm. The way you get stuff done is you define what done means and what doing looks like. Mm. Uh, and, but that's, that, that doesn't show up automatically. You actually have to think to figure out what all that stuff is and just have a good inventory and then build this external brain. If, you, if anybody's keeping a calendar or a diary or a scheduler, they're already admitting that their head can't do it. Right. That you need an external system to be able to mm. keep track of that kind of detail. Mm. So don't kid yourself. If you're keeping a calendar, you know, then you need, just like that, you need to keep all the other stuff that's not necessarily calendar related out of your head mm. in some sort of a trusted system. And, and do you find it uh, in terms of helping helping the brain work that actually writing things down to get things done is better than using uh, electronic means? Electronic's okay, except that you lose sight of it. And it's okay if it's electronic as long as you're looking at some sort of a visual version of it, mm. uh, you know, when you need to. Uh, mm. And that's tricky business, though, because the, the, the problem with the digital world is kind of out of sight, out of conscious mind. Right. And it's a dark black hole if you're trying to use your smartphone or your mm. laptop or whatever to keep track of a lot of that. It's okay as long as you have this methodology mm. because that, that'll give you the discipline mm. and the habit to make sure you're going back in and looking at mm. what you've stuck in there. Mm. I, th I think one of the things I'm guilty of is uh, I'll go to one of these fantastic seminars like the uh, Right Selection Organized and I'll see it, you, you know, uh, and I'm sitting there and I'm taking away these notes and I'm like, I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this, it's written down and then I go home and then it disappears somewhere. Right. Well, what you need to do is take all those notes. First of all, you need a physical in tray or in basket. Mm. Take all your notes, throw them into that in basket, mm. not stuffed all around in all kinds of places, and then drive that to empty. The way mm. you drive it to empty is you take all those notes and go through them one at a time called what action am I committed to? Is there a project here? Is there something I just need to keep as reference? And what can I throw away as trash? That's how you empty your in tray is making those clarification decisions about the stuff you've collected or input you let come into your ecosystem. Right, I love that. I think my biggest takeaway really is that in-tray thing. I think that's just fantastic. Take and put it in. And, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I, I use my own in-tray more than yeah. anybody. I, I need a place to throw all the business cards, yeah. the receipts, the meeting notes, yeah. the FedEx, the, 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 the flashlight that batter, the, the battery's dead on. You know, any, I just throw that all in the in-tray because then I don't want to have to decide in the, that very second what to do. I want to do that when it's time for me to be an executive and make decisions about what I need to do, but I need to have collected all of that raw data and those raw triggers in one place. That's fantastic. So even even throwing things like batteries into an intro, I've never even thought about that. That's, oh, yeah. that's amazing. Okay, David, thanks so much for your tips. Hope you have a fantastic time here. My pleasure. We'll see you thanks. soon. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Take care. Rebel Networking.